Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today, um, I am using the hashtag prompt freshen it up. Um, I'll put it in the description box below so that uh, you know the exact hashtag. But the idea is it's a new year, freshening it all up, getting things cleared up. And the best thing I thought of was to clean up my journal for 2023 and put it in a book, a <laughs> bind it or something. Um, <clears throat> I haven't finished December because I ended up with the flu. Um, so I have just a few images and I figured I would just put them in and then find this. This is my journal, kind of a clippy arty journal-y sort of thing that I've been doing for the last few years. And I actually cannibalized my last year, the 2022 one. It had too many pages, so I tore these out and just went ahead and used them. But to freshen things up, I'm going to clean this one up bind it up, make a new book, and um, I'll clean this one up. Once I decide how I'm going to bind it, I'll bring you along and then we can start a new one for the new year. Okay, I hope you caught all that. Um, this is actually an open collaboration um, for the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. They, um, do a, they're doing a hashtag every month with the prompt and, um, also that is hosted by PM Artist Studio. You see a lot of, uh, PM Artist Studio gel prints there. <laughs> they're stencils that I used. Um, but anyway, I'll have more information down below, a link to the Facebook page if you're interested and joining up and I'll see if I can find the playlist because um, Mariah was saying that she had created a playlist for January so if I can find it I'll link it down below so in case you're interested in other people's ideas of what the hashtag freshen it up uh, means to them it will be there so um, to make my cover from my 2023 journal I am using just one side of a paper bag. <laughs> um, the day I started this project, I had um, DoorDash deliver <laughs> chicken salad from Super Chicks. Anyways, so <laughs> I'm using that paper bag. Um, I didn't use the whole bag because this journal's done. I don't. I don't need pockets or anything. And I just wanted some sort of layer to strengthen it a little bit. Um, so I figured, why not? We'll use it. Um, and I just, I actually randomly reached back. I have these pouches full of jelly prints. I just reached back and grabbed. And that was the packet I got. I, I told myself whichever packet I got, I was using um, the gel prints out of there. I love how this cover turns out. <laughs> I just love it. I love my bird. <laughs> but I am just using YooHoo glue stick and gluing it on. Now, if I'd have, if I'd have thought it through, I would have left the edges to wrap around the edge of that paper bag. Um just to make it a little bit sturdier. Um, I didn't think about it at the time. I think about it later. So when I'm making the cover for 2024, I, I do that. I wrap the edges a little bit. And I am editing this, like cutting out a few things just to try and make it a little bit shorter. It is kind of long, um, a longer video, about 30 minutes or so, I think. And I do have it sped up. I don't move this fast. <laughs> um, I think it's about double speed. 
But yeah, so I picked that one. I just picked another one at random, really, just to have something on the back. I was going to have another bird, but it didn't quite fit um, in the space. So I went for a more abstract. Now, if I'd have had, I don't know, um, a glue, a white glue or something, that might be a little bit better. I like the glue stick because your pages don't ripple and and, and stuff, but um, there is always the possibility of having an air pocket in there. So I do try to get it really well covered, but... Um, Okay, so you didn't see me do the inside, but there's the inside. And then I trimmed it all out. And, yeah, it's just going to wrap around. I like the wrap. Um, so, oh, yes, and I round the corners. Just because they're less likely to look all dinged up later. So, um, I like the wrap idea, but I do want to sew my signatures in. Um, so I'm going to sew them, and I'm not going to show you. I sewed them onto that piece of fabric. It was kind of a heavy, um, stiff fabric. It doesn't look like it, but it was. Um, I, I didn't do a great job, but nobody will see it. It'll be glued in, right? So I want to make sure this is centered. So I'm getting it all centered up. Kind of hard because, you know, there's a little bit more bulk on the bottom than at the top. And then without moving the signatures, I'm going to grab the Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac to adhere that material to the cover. And hopefully it will hold up. I mean... Really, it's last year's journal. I'm not going to get in it and work work in it or anything. Um, it's just going to sit on my shelf, be looked at every once in a while. So I think it'll be fine. So then I'm going to close that and try to make sure those top and bottom are in alignment. And I, I, I sit there for a while and let that um, set up a little bit. doesn't look like it, but I did. I promise. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out... Um, whether I should just glue the edge piece. Um, but I decide to glue the backs, the back of that too. So each of those sections I'm going to glue. Starting with that one closest to the front. That's a bigger gap because those two signatures were thicker than the last little signature that I have there. So trying to use something to push down on that. It's not like um, glitter glue that sets up really fast. <laughs> Just have to hold it there for a minute. I probably could have edited out the holding part. Just a little. Okay, so now I'm going to do the rest of it, I think. And since it's just a small section, it's kind of hard to let you see that. Again, using my paintbrush to push down in between.
I think I've used the glue. Do you guys have that trouble? Like my thumb, I can't, I can't hold it any other way now to squeeze the glue bottles because um, it hurts my bone and my thumb. I think I did that too much around Christmas time. <laughs> All right, so it's glued in and I need to, I guess I'm showing you, see, it's all there. Looks good. Okay, now I need to have a tie to sh tie it shut. And I just had a little piece of brown ribbon, so um, for now, I'm just going to use that and tie it shut. I was trying to think of a fun connection or something, but yeah, it'll probably just live with the ribbon. But it's cleared off. It's done. It's out of my way. It's on the bookshelf now. And so now it's time to do one for 2024. And I picked jelly prints out of that same pouch that I had. Um... And it had, I love these butterflies. I did a, a kind of a long haul with the butterflies. So I have multiple prints of butterflies. I think this one was the final pull. I can't remember now. Put a Put a magazine under there so I don't get glue all over my table. And that um, that paper bag. So this is the other half of the paper bag. So I I I I really liked how that journal ended up. So I wanted to do another one. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, this is gonna be 2024. Do it in the same way, almost. It's not exactly the same way. And I'm using the paper bag. Um, but the way the signatures are going to be attached is different. And I'm going to wrap the edges around that paper bag so that um, has a little bit more reinforcement on the edges. <clears throat> Yeah, like I said, I have multiple prints of butterflies. <laughs> I don't want any of the white to show. Um, and it's just slightly too small. So this one's going to go the other direction. I only need a little bit of it anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I um, didn't leave quite enough paper on that upper edge to fold over very well, but we'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make sure it's all glued down. And I'm not waiting in between steps, you know. I just want to get it done, so um, I'm not waiting and letting it dry. Which, it's always better if you have time to let each each step dry before you move on to the next step. And the gel prints that I'm using were just done on cheap copy paper. So there's there's nothing thick about them and then the paper bag. Paper bag is really what's giving the cover substance. And it's not really thick. Um, just a little. 
I was looking at my journal and I was like, I really like this design. I really like, I don't know, the curve of it and stuff. And then, then I realized it was familiar to me. It's, it's like the, I don't remember what they were called, but they were journal covers. Um, Shannon Green made them with the movie post or billboards. Um, I think I have a couple that I got from her. I haven't heard from her in a while. Anybody know what she's up to? But yeah, that's what they remind me of. Only mine are not as thick and sturdy. Mine are just paper. <laughs> Hers were those the fused plastic. Hers were pretty sturdy. This one will see how it lasts the year, right? <laughs> Maybe I should laminate it. Now it's too late. I've put the signatures in. <clears throat> Here I'm trying to fold up that little skinny spot. I think I was looking at the butterfly on the other side, trying to line up the butterfly instead of thinking about paper I wanted on the back side. So I have a little bit of white there. I'll just pull out some paint later and um, take care of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue um, some more paper to the inside so we can get that covered. But I think I'm gonna shorten it a little bit so um, save a little time. You didn't really need to see me cut that down to size. <laughs> <clears throat> that that should bring it about a little bit under 30 minutes, I think. I'm not sure I didn't check after I cut that off. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you're still here, if you're interested in um, joining in this open collaboration, um, check the link below. I'll link the Facebook group, um, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. And um, you do have to answer questions to become a member. They want to make sure you're a real person. Um, if you don't answer the questions, you won't you won't um, get in. And then they have a featured area inside there and all the events that they're doing in January. And each month they'll update that with the new stuff. So, yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you're not a member there, you might want to check it out if you do Facebook. Because they're, uh, they're really friendly over there. I'm not very chatty over there. But uh, they're all very friendly and nice. Right now, they've been posting pictures of th their town where they live. And um, it's a blizzard here. I'm not going outside to take pictures. <laughs> I was thinking I need to look up online and find some pictures of my town. And <laughs> post them. Because, yeah, I'm not, I'm not driving out there. <laughs> it's winter right now. <laughs> we have... Um, they expect... Five straight days of snow. Um, this afternoon wasn't too bad. I could have gone out this afternoon. But it's really cold out there. <laughs> I sound like an old fuddy duddy. <laughs> uh, it's not straight. We'll pretend. Nobody will know that it's not straight. <laughs> um... The paper is longer than my paper trimmer. I tried to cut it a straight line, but uh, didn't do so good a job. 
I found a little teal. I'm hoping it will just disguise that edge a little bit. Looks like the right color. I know this is a this is a crazy paintbrush, but it was it was a flat brush and it was right there waiting for me to use. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking some of my coffee dyed um, papers, and that's going to be my signatures this year. That's that's so plain compared to previous years. We'll we'll see how I do. <laughs> um, I've I've used scrap um, scrapbook paper that's already printed and colorful stuff. So we'll see. Um, I also want to, I liked, now I'm going to shorten those so they'll fit in there, but you don't see it. I just cut them off. Um, I want to be able, I liked last year, I could just pull out the page I was working on and then insert it back in. So I've decided I want to have, um where I can just slide the signatures in and out so that I can work on them separate from the book. So, and if I don't need all the pages, I can thin it, you know. Or if it starts getting too thick in one signature, I can reduce the signature. You get the idea. So I, I took another um, a folded up, folded in half piece of the um the paper bag glued it together so it's double thick and then i wrapped it with a jelly print so it has that on there it's still not thick like it's not thick i want the spine to have that curve right um so i don't want to make it a stiff flat hard spine now i've never done this i don't know if this is going to work or not but I'm making marks, um, dividing it in, making four marks on each side. And then I'm just indenting it, hoping that the string will stay where I indent. I'm going to glue it really good on the back side and glue it into the book cover. So I don't think it will shift much. The string is pretty strong. That is cotton warp. Um... I've had it for probably more than 30 years and um, you ain't got it and it's, it's not breaking. It's, it's made for uh, making rugs. So it's pretty strong thread. I, in fact, I wanted to get some other colors. So I looked them up. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. <laughs> I've had this one forever. I'm glad it's a gray. It's kind of neutral. I use it all the time <laughs> ever since I've been like, crafting and stuff so I'm just going to wrap this around in each of those little notches I'm going to lay it flat so that it's not curved at all and then tie it off and I barely made it I didn't make it any bigger than the signatures so it's smaller than the cover and I probably should have made it a little bit bigger than the signatures. I don't know. We'll we'll see how this holds up throughout the year, right? <laughs> if it falls apart, we'll just do something different at the end. <laughs> okay. So now that's on there. I'm going to pull out my cover. Dried curled, so it's a little curly. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm trying to find the middle. I want to get it lined up just right in the middle. So it's good and centered. And 
And this time I am going to use the glitter glue because it's paper on paper. And like I said, I hurt my thumb. I can't, I can't squeeze it any other way now. <laughs> Wanted to make sure it was upright. I don't, I don't know why butterflies go both ways. And I just held it there for a while because I want to make sure it wasn't going to go anywhere. Now we're just going to insert. Yeah, should have made them just a little bit bigger. I mean, they go in, but it's a little bit of an effort. I do have one signature that was a little bit tall. I do end up trimming it. I think it's that one. Yeah, that one's a little tall. I compared them in height. I'm like, okay, yeah, that one's tall. Take the shorter one, and then I just take scissors to the other one and just trim off like a quarter of an inch. That's all it needed. And then it's about done. So I hope you liked that video. That's my idea of freshening it up. Getting ready for the this new year to come. And yeah, I've got me a journal ready to go. Thank you all for watching. Those of you who lasted this long, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.